Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Dyn Pro ABAP and in the previous videos, we took one requirement based upon that requirement, we designed the layout. We created the labels, we created the input field, we created the button and we took the four text view. Now we will move on to further, we will proceed with the topic. Now, we will pass the value of sales document number here and the value of these four fields will display. It means we need to take fields, we need to take attribute so that we can bind with this input field and with this four output field. Output field, we can say text view. It means we need to take total five fields total five attributes for one for this input and four for this output. So how we will take and the important part will start from here. Now I will go to component controller. You all know component controller is the king or backbone of this web pro component. Whatever you will do in the component controller, it will be accessed or visible to all other parts of that component. Now in the web component controller, we will discuss this context. What is context? You all know in Adobe forms also, we have a, we have a particular thing context. We have a tab context. What is context? where your data resides for the application. So what is context? Where your data resides is called as the context. Now in this context, what we will do? In this context, we will discuss two term the logic. The first term will be node and the second term will be attribute. Now what is node? Node is a collection of attribute or we can say field. What is node? A node is a collection of attribute or field. And what are attribute? Attributes are the individual fields. So three important terminology. What is context? A context where your data resides, where your value resides is called as context. And whenever we will go for context, two important terminology will play a vital role. What is node? A node is a collection of attributes. And you all know attributes are what? They are individual fields. You can say individual column. Now, in this context, we will take total five fields. We will take total five attributes. So we will, what we will do? We will create a node and in that node, we will take five attributes. Now, what I will do, I will simply right click on the context and I will simply go for create node. And for the best understanding, just simply, simply compare. What is node? Node is just like a structure. And what is structure? Structure is a collection of columns. You can simply compare what is node. A node is a collection of attributes. So in the node, we will take five attributes. In the structure, what you are doing? In the structure, you are simply taking the five fields. This terminology matters. They both are one and the same thing. Just simply compare. Structure, what is structure? Structure is a collection of columns. In the structure, you are taking five columns. In WebDen Pro ABAP, what we are doing, rather than structure, we are using the terminology node. What is node? A node is a collection of attribute and we are taking five attribute. Same now, what I will do? I will right click on the context and I will go for node. I will create a node. I will give some name to the node. Suppose I am saying order. We will go for order. We will go for sales. We will give the node name as sales. Anyways, whenever topics will proceed depends upon the requirement. 
all these things we will learn what is cardinality what is selection all these things because whenever we will do the practical based upon that whatever the thing is coming we will cover from the theory perspective also i will go for okay continue so we have a node sales now in this node I will take five attribute, I will take five column, I will take five fields. So how I will take, I will simply right click on to this node and I will go for attribute. In this node, I am creating attribute. So what is our first attribute? Just simply copy paste from the table itself from VBAK table. Now I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will take it. Okay, I'll just open SC11. I think system is slow. I will just wait. Okay, I'll just put here. Okay, VBAK. So firstly, I will, now all sessions are opening, we'll go for this VBEMN. Just simply compare whenever you are creating the structure, how you are giving the field names. We will give the attribute name as VBELN and what will be the type? Type means data element. Just simply compare whenever you are creating a structure, how you are creating field name, data element, field name, data element. Same thing we are giving. What is the name of the structure? Sales, which is called as node. And we are going for five individual attributes. I will go for OK. So this is our first attribute. Now I will create the second attribute. What is our second attribute? ERDAC. I will choose the type as ERDAC. This is the data element. Now I will go for ERZDT. Create node, sorry, attribute. Node already created. ERZDT. What will be the type? ERZDT. I will go for OK. Now I will simply go for fourth. Create attribute. ER now. What will be the type? ER. No. Now I will simply go for fifth. Fifth attribute will be VB type. VB type. Now many times people ask, okay, I'll just for VB type, this is VB type L. In my system, it is VB type L. In your system, it might be VB type. You can change. Yes. You can take whatever is in your system. Many times people ask, Rather than one node, can we take two separate node means input and output separate? Yes, it is totally your wish. Suppose you are taking two node. In one node, you are only taking VBELN. In another node, you are taking this four. So it is totally your wish how you want to do. In one node itself, I took all five. This will be our input and this will be our output. Now in the component controller, context. I created a node and in the node I took five attributes. Now we will go for the view because ultimately we need to bind these attributes with this what we designed in the view this input and these four output. So how how we will bind in the view also we have a context tab. Just understand this context pass for component controller and this context is for view. Now you can see whatever is in the component controller, it is visible to view also. Have you seen? This is component controller and this is view. This is the context of the view. This is the context of the component controller. If I want to use this node into this particular view, how, how I will use 
currently it is the part of component controller how how i will use into this particular view same to same thing you did in component you did in adobe forms also you need to simply drag and drop just simply take and drop here because this is the main benefit of component controller. Why I took in the component controller? Because in the future, if I will add one more view, so there is no need to go for separately declaring the variables, separately declaring the node. I The node is declared in the component controller. I will use into that particular view also, another view also. So wherever possible, if you think, this particular thing you will use at multiple places, multiple views. So it's good to take in the component controller because you know in the component controller, whatever you will take, you can be accessible throughout all the views. Now, whatever is in the component controller, now it is in the view also. Now I will find, I will go one by one. Now, this is our input field for sales document number. You all know these are the properties. Just go down. We will be able to see one property and we will bind. Now, you can see we have a thing value. Just go for binding. Banditry binding is missing. It is giving you warning also, message. Now, we will bind with this VBELN. Now you can see this is our VBELN. Now I will go for creation date first, text view, and I will bind this. You can see we have a text. Okay, I will simply click here. For the text view, we have a text property. I will go for ER tag. Now I will go for ERZDT. And this, because anyways, if you will not bind, you will get an error because ultimately it is appearing in red color. ERZD. Now I will go for ERNUM. This is our ERNUM. Now I will go for VB type. This is our VB type. So we binded all five. Now I will check the syntax. Till now in the previous video, I have not checked the syntax because so many mandatory things we have not done. Now you can see application is syntactically correct. Now we covered it's always, always best to activate the full application. So how you can do, you can simply go to display mode. Yes. Because if some parts are appearing in blue color, this is in blue color, view is in blue color. So if you want to activate everything together, just go to display mode and activate. You can see it is activating component controller also. It is activating our view also. Important video. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the important things because it will create a base for you. Now, our input and for output, if we need to bind with fields, we need to find with bind with columns, we need to bind with attributes. So what we did, we simply went to component controller. In the component controller, we have a context tab. The generic meaning of context is context where your data resides, where your value resides. Suppose I am giving the value 1 to sales document number, then where that one value resides, it will reside in the context. So context is used to, context is what? Where your values reside, where your data reside. In the context, we cover two things. What is node and what is attribute? Node is a collection of attribute. An attribute, you know, they are the single fields or single columns, whatever you want to say. It is simply compare. What is node? It is node is just like a structure. 
what is structure structure is a collection of column then what is node node is just like structure in which we are taking the attribute so if you want to compare your node is just like structure and in the structure whatever the fields you are taking they are attributes so we killed you killed one node no in the node we took the five attribute how you are taking the fields in the structure column data element column data element same thing we did after that we went to the view because ultimately we need to bind these attributes with the view because your layout designing is in the view so we went for the context tab you can see whatever is in component controller it is visible to the view as well because component controller is a global part it is a backbone why i have taken in global because in the future if i will add more views also there is no need to declare the attributes again and again i will simply drag and drop this particular node to that another view also because many times people are asking why you are taking in component controller can i take in view as well see if you are taking in view that is local to that view only if you think yes this part i will use in another view also i will use in another parts of the component so it's good to take in the component controller after that i simply went to layout tab and i binded this input i binded this four text view i binded for this input the name of the property is value and for other the name of the property is text so we binded these things in the next video we will simply proceed with the writing the logic part because whenever we will click on to the submit button we need to fetch the data we need to bind with this particular four text view that part we will continue in the next video so that's it in this video thank you